fact that residents are mourning the death of at least 15 people killed in three separate car bomb attacks in Iraq's capital city. Dozens of residents gathered in Amin to mourn two victims of one of the blasts. It is not clear who is behind the bombing and violence, but this Amin resident believes the government is keeping people in the dark about what happened. People would not have died if politicians had reconciled. Kurds are on one side, the Shiites are on another side, and the Sunnis are on one side. They do not have any mercy on people. If they had mercy on them, they would have told people frankly what happened yesterday, instead of saying that only two people were killed. They did not come and see the people who were lying dead. Baghdad has been hit by wave after wave of bombing since April. In a separate attack, a minibus bomb went off outside the house of a police officer in the city of Tikrit, 39 miles north of Baghdad, wounding more than 30 people. This latest wave of bloodshed comes as Iraq's Prime Minister wages a war against Sunni militants in western Anbar province near the Syrian border.